I have represented several women in sexual harassment cases. For these women, it's a real source of, of, I don't know how to describe it, but they haven't really had a man standing in their corner, or really anybody standing in their corner, and they've just had to take it for a long time, and, and now they haven't had to, and that's kind of, you see them, they feel empowered. I kind of realize that nobody that comes into my office tell me what a great day they've had. We, we start out a relationship with, it's generally, based on some kind of strife. Educating them about the process helps them get through the process. And helping them get through the process and come out at the other end, even if it's not everything that they wanted or that, that I wanted, um, it gives, some, gives a lot of meaning to what I do. I worked with a big firm for a while and I was very unhappy. I didn't know exactly why I was unhappy. Um, and I went in with one of the lawyers who I'm now partners with, Pete Burns, and I found out that representing people was, um, was the friction that I needed to, to make the job worthwhile. One of the, the, the toughest parts of my practice, and I, I personally don't do any medical malpractice work. My, one of my partners primarily does it. I hate telling people why that if their case was a car wreck case where the liability issues and the damage issues were such that I would take it if it, they were in a car wreck, I can't take them because they're suing a physician and I can't because it's too expensive and it's going to take too much time and even if we win the case at trial, they, they're going to appeal it. The Alabama Medical Liability Act um, does things that it, it, it creates a safe haven for doctors, as does the Alabama uh, Legal Liability Act, which is patterned after the same thing. It gives doctors and lawyers breaks that ordinary citizens would not get. Uh, for instance, if uh, the doctor had botched the same procedure that your, your client came to see you about each day for 365 days previously, not only would that not be admissible at trial, but I couldn't even find out about it during the discovery portion of the lawsuit. The normal discovery process where I can send requests to the other side that they produce um, information that, that about themselves is not something that's allowed and um, I can't ask them the questions at trial. I can't even ask them the questions in the deposition. They'll just, they don't have to answer them. A lot of the same people that say that the system is broken are, are on the other side of the coin, capitalists who believe in free enterprise and they don't want, they don't want restrictions, they don't want trade restrictions, they don't want tariffs. They say, well, you're, you're spooling the market. Well, the system works if it's left to its own. Um, it's just these people, that, and arbitration is, is the prime example, it's these people who, who don't want the system to work or they're, they don't like the effect of the system because it keeps them from doing the types of things that they're doing. And it's hard, it's hard for people to understand that, and when you, when you take the time to talk to them about it, they're stunned. The civil justice system means to me that, um, that I have the same access to the system that George Bush does, that the people who clean up here at the night when everything's done have the same access that uh, Donald Rumsfeld does, and that's the way it's supposed to work. And when it does work like that, it's a wonderful thing. We think of a trial lawyer as a problem solver. And sometimes that means um, it's just the lawyer part. And sometimes it's the trial and the lawyer part. But I see myself as a, a champion for people who might not otherwise have a voice. I'm Pete Mackey. I practice with Burns, Cunningham and Mackey in Mobile, Alabama. We represent uh, plaintiffs in civil cases. We, our firm specializes in medical, legal, nursing home negligence, construction defects. I do some employment law. We do a lot of different type of business disputes.